Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to magnify his name, to glorify his name, to exalt his holy name. Another day to always be in his presence right now. Thank you, Jesus. This is the day that you have made. And my brothers and my sisters, even myself, we're so glad to be a part of it and always rejoice in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We just thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now today. We thank you, Father God, for this opportunity, Father God, that we have to continue to seek you today. We put our faith, we put our trust, we put our hope all back into your hands and then one another day. Oh, Father God, every day is a day, Father God, to worship your name, to exalt your holy name, because you are that awesome, you are that mighty, you are that powerful, Father God. Oh, Father God, that's not too hard for you. Oh, God, it's not too difficult for you. It's not that's out of your reach, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just thank you right now. We glorify, we magnify your name right now today, Jesus, in your house, Father God. Father God, we thank you right now. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. <clears throat> it's not a seasonal thing. Because the God we serve, the God we praise, he is still on the throne, and he is still performing miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. He is still in the healing business. He is still in the blessing business. God should be your everything. And if you are not giving Jesus the thanks right now today, the praise right now today, or the glory, what are you doing right now? Open up your mouth right now. God, we serve an awesome God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God so faithful that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He'll never turn his back on you. But most of all, he'll never disappoint you. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we just come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks right now. Give me all praise. Give me all glory. We just thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we're about to receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today that's going to keep us full today, going to keep us satisfied today. There's no other place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, lift you up with thanksgiving and praise and glorify your name, Jesus. Oh, Father God, allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your love to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship right now today in your place. Oh God, we glorify your name for who you are right now, Father God. We thank you, Jesus. We magnify your name right now today, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, this is your time. This is your moment, Father God. You do what you do best, but you're going to show up and you're going to show out. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or fallen. Heavenly Father God, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to your home right now. Right here in your sanctuary right now. Right here on your YouTube channel right now. Right here in your platform right now. Right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. My sister's homes and my sister's life. Father God, I'm asking you to move to this place like you never moved before. I'm asking you to touch us right now. I'm asking you to lift us up. I'm asking you, Father God, to soften our heart right now. Father God, I'm asking you right now today in your name to fill us up more with the Holy Spirit because we want more of you, Jesus, and less of ourselves. Heavenly Father God, you know exactly what we are going through, what we are facing right now. And I'm just asking you, Father God, for you to touch us right now, Father God, and put your righteous right hand right now on every area of our body where we are hurting that, where we are suffering that, Father God, whatever it is that we're going through, Father God, because you are a healer and you also are the deliverer, Father God. I believe, I declare, I decree today, God, that someone's ready to get their life over to you today, God. Someone's going to be delivered today, Father God. Someone's ready to be healed today, Father God. Oh, Father God, someone is tired of running right now. They just want to just run to you, Father God, and the angels are rejoicing right now today in heaven right now. Holy Spirit, right now. Holy Spirit, you are welcome right now today to enter to the house of the Lord right now. 
right here in the sanctuary right now, right here on Jesus' YouTube channel, on this platform right now, even in my sister's homes, even in my sister's life, even in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move to this place like you never moved before. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to touch us right now so we can catch the Holy Ghost fire right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts right now. Control our anxiety, control our fears right now so we can hear your soft, still voice right now. Oh God, we just thank you, Father God, because we know that you're about to do something amazing in this place, Father God. Let your words go out and she now return back void, Father God. Oh God, I know someone's going to receive this word today, God. Oh God, we thank you for an advance. We praise you for an advance. We glorify, we magnify your name right now today, Father God, in advance right now. And then, Father God, we hear the data let you know that we are available for praise. We are available for service. We are available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, we are available for you. Words cannot explain how thankful, how great and honor I am. How blessed I am to pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers and sisters today, Father God, in your house. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown. Purify us through your blood right now. Wash us as white as snow right now today, Father God. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays in my heart about you. It's something that stays on the stays on the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I pray you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart into you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I shout out hallelujah every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pray. That's why I boast about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. And let Jesus know right now that you can't thank him, but you can't thank him enough. Amen. Some of y'all might get y'all act together real quick. Because some of y'all thinking that that window of blessing is going to stay open for a lifetime. But I'm sadly too mistaken you right now today to let you know that your time is about to run out. And when your time runs out, my sisters, and when your time runs out, my brothers, I promise you, you're going to miss them or miss their blessing when they're gone. Because when it's gone, you'll never get it back. I don't know why y'all think those windows of blessing stay open for a lifetime. Some of y'all just, just lotty gagging, just taking y'all sweet little time. Some of y'all really not even taking it serious. And God is giving y'all chance after chance each and every day. He's giving you a chance. He's giving you an opportunity to get on board, to get on ship and say, to give up the program, say, I better get on this board right here before I miss it. I better get on this ship right here before I miss it. I better get with the program before I lose it. Because I promise you, my brothers, I promise you, my sisters, once it's gone, I promise you, you'll miss it. You'll never see it again. It'll never come back to you again. And you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Some of y'all sitting there laughing at it. Some of y'all really not even taking it serious. Some of y'all say, you know what? Psh, man, that's, that's always going to be like that. I can take my time. I ain't in no rush. My brothers and sisters, ain't, there's no need for you to take your time. And you better be in a rush. Because somebody else get it. It's going to hurt you. This is your time. This is your season. And this is your moment opportunity to jump 
own boy right now. And real genius that thinks and praise and glory for this blessing. Because it's, it's a reason why that God bless you with this blessing. It's a reason why he could have picked anybody. He could have chose anyone. He could have considered anybody. But he chose you. He considered you. He had picked you for a reason, for a purpose. Nobody knows why God do, does things. And that's not our job to even question our Lord and Savior Christ. But when God give you an opportunity, when he give you an opportunity, and it's right there, laid in your face, why are you not jumping on it? Why are you not receiving it? Why you don't appreciate it? Because I promise you, there's somebody out here right now today, they want that blessing. There's somebody out there right now today, they will appreciate that blessing. There's somebody out there right now today, wish it was them, but God gave it to you. There's a lot of people right now today, they ain't going to tell you that they're sick. And the reason why they sit is because they always thought that they bring up a blessing. They bring up opportunity for all that's going to be there. When God got tired of playing and playing and playing with them, when God kept giving them chance and chance and chance to get right opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to jump on the ship, God already knew they really didn't want it. He was just giving them a chance. Say maybe something wrong with them. Or maybe they're having a bad day. God already knows what's going on with you. But God also knew your heart too. But God got tired of waiting. He said, all the poor, that was it. The moment they realized that their, uh, their window of blessing was gone, they went crazy. They went bananas. It's because they took advantage of something that God literally gave them. They act like they didn't want. They act like they didn't care. They act like that situation was always going to be there for them. They realized that their time was running out. And somebody's time is running out right now today. And it's running out quick. My sisters, my brothers, if you don't get in the program, if you don't get right, if you don't jump on the ship right now, I don't know who I'm talking to right now. I don't know who this word for right now. But I promise you that window of blessing does not stay open long. And you will miss it when it's gone. I promise you you'll miss it. I promise you you'll break down. I promise you you'll cry. I promise you you'll holler. I promise you you'll beg Jesus to bring it back. But once it's gone, it's gone. Once he sealed it, it's sealed. And the reason why he's going to seal it because he knows that you're trying to open that door right back up for him. And God said, why would you open that door for him when the door was wide open the whole time? They didn't want it. They only trying to knock on the door now is because they know I sealed it. If I would never seal the door, they still have been doing what they're doing to you the whole time. And they really didn't want it. They just want nobody else to have it. That's what you call a selfish person. Got a lot of selfish people out here in this world. Especially when God is giving you something. You better get right, my sisters. You better get right, my brothers. Because the time is about to, your time is about to expire. Amen? Amen. So can you please turn your Bible to Genesis chapter 7? And we're going to read verses 13 through 16. That's Genesis chapter 7. And we're going to read verses 13 through 16. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say, Amen. Amen. On that very day, Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Jephthah, together with his wife and the wives of the three sons, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, all livestock according to their kind, every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, every bird according to its kind. Everything with wings, parents of all creatures, they have the breach of life in them, came to know and entered the ark. The animals going in were male and female of every living thing as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut him in. Now, the Lord waited 
into the slowest ever. The slowest, the slowest, slowest living livestock animal to get on the hog, which is a snail. A snail is the slowest animal. That's how much time that God gave, gave them. That's how patient the Lord was with them. And God has given y'all time. God has been patient with you. A lot of y'all right now that you don't realize the snail is on its way to them and to their heart. And once they snail enter into their heart, the game is over. Some of y'all need to realize the game is about to be over. A lot of y'all think y'all game is going to overtime, but it's not. God has been patiently waiting on you to make your mind up, to get right, to jump on board, and just receive what's right there in front of you. He's giving you time. He's giving you chances. He's been patient with you. Over and over and over again. But you, my sister, you, my brother, you taking it as it's a joke. You are taking it like you got all day long. You are taking it like you got all the time in the world to get by. Right. God said, no, you really don't. You thinking that you got time. You thinking that you can sit there and lot of gag and play all day long and you don't think I'm going to do anything about it. Your time is about to expire. That snail is about to enter into their heart. And once that snail enters into their heart, God's going to seal that door. And once he sealed that door, that's it. There's no coming back. There's no return from that. You can bang, you can beat, you can do it all you want to do, but there's no coming back. Think about all those people that was laughing at Noah when Noah was building that ark. Laughing at him, picking at him, mocking him. But Noah kept on building. Noah kept on doing what he was doing. See, they didn't realize the window of blessing was right there open, right there in front of their face. God gave them time. God gave them a chance. God gave them an opportunity. And God was patient with every last one of them. He even gave them a chance. They still stood right there. Laughing, picking, and mocking Noah. Thinking that the window of blessing was going to stay open for a long, for the, for a long time. But if you realize God only told Noah to build one door. And right now God is giving y'all that one door. He can give you a side door. He can give you a left door. He's giving you one door for you to enter into that door of that blessing. And receive that blessing. But that door. It's getting smaller, it's getting smaller, and it's getting smaller. And the reason why it's getting smaller and smaller by the day is because you are playing. You are not taking this blessing seriously. You take it as it's a joke. That is exactly what you are doing right now. It's not a joke, my sisters. It's not a joke, my brothers. If you don't get your mind together right now, if you don't get your act together right now, if you don't start moving like you want it right now, because when God sealed that door, that's it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how bad you bang, how bad you cry. It doesn't matter how bad you try to pray and praise and worship. Once God sealed that door, that's it. And the reason why God sealed that door is because he know that people like myself and you, my sister and brothers, he know that we'll open that door. That's why he sealed the door with Noah. He sealed that door. And once he sealed the door, the flood came. And I'm believing right now today uh, the flood is about to come. A flood is about to come. Once that flood come, or before the flood come, because it's on its way. That's it. God is giving you one more last chance right now. He's giving you another opportunity right now. He said, I've been patient with you, my child. Too patient. I don't know how much time you got left, but your time is about to expire. If you don't get on board, if you don't make your mind up, if you don't sit there and acknowledge what God has showed you and what God has given you, if you don't acknowledge it, you're going to miss it. And once you miss it, you will regret it. 
I'll tell you what, my brother and sister, everyone that picked that norm, laughed that norm, mocked the joy, they missing them now. They missing them now. Everyone that God has given them a blessing and they took it for granted, they missing them now. They wish they can get it. They wish they can get another shot at it. They wish they can get another chance at it. I probably they reminiscing about it right now. Man, I had an opportunity a couple of days ago. I had an opportunity a couple of weeks ago. I had an opportunity a couple of months ago. I had an opportunity a couple of years ago. And I blew it. That's all they talk about. It's the opportunity that they had. Don't you be another victim. And talk about I had. But it's already yours right now. Believe it's yours. Trust it is, it's yours. Receive it is yours. Walk like it's yours. Pray like it's yours. Praise and worship like it's yours right now. Before that, before that door closes on you. Because when the door closes, that's it. You will never hit it again. Time waits for nobody or no one. My brothers and sisters, I don't know who the Lord is talking to today. But I believe and I declare today that someone will say, you know what, I'm tired. I've been playing. I have not been taking it seriously. But today, I'm walking in my blessing. I'm praising through my blessing. I'm going to worship through my blessing. I'm going to glorify and shout in his holy name through my blessing. Don't let that door shut, shut behind on you. Because once that door shut, it's shut. You can't reopen it. Because God has been patiently waiting on you. And if you know God is talking to you, and you know that this word is for you, go and hit Jesus' like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to guide us, direct us, and use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, by us praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything out in my life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, or leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is with us.alt. Always keep Jesus in first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always praise him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus. Because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust Jesus even though you don't see anything happening. Continue to hold on to Jesus and change my hands and please don't let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to tend to keep out in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm seven minutes LT. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.